I like that you guys made all the kids leave like I was some filthy act coming up here. It's about to get raunchy. <laughs> get those kids out of here. We're going X-rated tonight. This is really exciting, man. I saw those prizes you guys were giving away. You guys get flat screen TV. I was backstage and I was like, oh man, I should have charged more. I didn't know. <laughs> the kind of budget the father's house was working with here. That's not true. I was here last December and I made fun of the whole staff for being irresponsible and getting COVID. So I'm very surprised to be back. <laughs> A year, man. It was. I'm glad to be with with you guys, though, man. I was, I was in ministry for seven years. I was in seven years as a youth pastor, which you knew from the second you saw me. I know that. I got strong youth pastor vibes. I know that. I look like I'd be good at ping pong and a devotional, and I am. I am. I quit that job though because I hate teenagers, <laughs> and <laughs> that's an important part of the job. And I know there's some of you here, and that's fine, but I just, I would, I would so, I would just look at that group of teenagers and be like, I don't think you deserve the love of Jesus. I don't. <laughs> he died for people. I'm not sure you're a person. I don't know. That's just from my own experience. I have my own kids now, too. I have two teenagers. My I, middle school son, you look at, my, I look at my middle school son. I was like, that's not, that's not one of us. The face of a middle school boy? What is that? That's not, that's not human. That's, it, the, it looks like a baby with a mustache. What's that look? It's all gangly, doesn't move with any natural fluidity to it, you know? I don't, I don't want anything to do with it. The smell, the smell of a teenage boy. You're like, you smell sour, sour. You smell like behind Applebee's is what you smell like. I realized that as a youth pastor, I was like, this is why church ministry, like, Joe, this is why youth group got invented, because parents were like, this is God's problem. <laughs> like, I'm outsourcing you to Jesus. I'm gonna have you baptized just for the shower, just for the shower. <laughs> that job was so hard that I quit to give stand-up comedy a try, so. <laughs> school for 13 months. We homeschooled our kids for 13 months, our school did. When I got the letter from the school district that they were finally going back to school, I recommitted my life to Christ. I, I was like, you put me through a lot, Lord, but here I am to worship. I'm back. They had their first day this last week. You know, I dropped them off. I assumed the school was open. I don't know that confidently. I don't know. It didn't really affect my decision making either way. There's probably a janitor around. He'll jingle the keys for you. I can't, I can't do it. I actually told my son, I told him, I was like, listen, I will take you to school, but someone else is going to have to come get you, or I'm going to get a DUI in the pickup line. I'm going to start. I don't know what kind of church you are. Uh, <laughs> some of you like that, and the other, you're looking at the pastors like, I don't know. I've always thought he drank. I don't know. I don't... And you know what? Dads are kind of allowed to do that. There's no, uh, there's no rule. Dads kind of walk around with this baseline of irritability. And if your friend does something even just slightly annoying, then that kid's dead to your dad. That's all. My dad hated my best friend growing up, Gavin. Because it's a bottle. Does someone sneak something in here? Does that? <laughs> someone got a little mini in here mixing... I mean, respect, all right? It's, <laughs> it's like, I'm bringing my own prize tonight. Uh, <laughs> I'd be married, I've been married a long time. I've been married 17 years. Me and my wife just celebrated 17 years. So yeah, thank you. You know, it's hard working the road. In those 17 years, I've been faithful. I've never cheated. And I've also never had the opportunity. It's never come up, not even... Move on or finish this joke, sir. <laughs> I thought when I got into comedy it would be an issue. Hasn't been an issue. Has not. Has not. Actually, when I first started walk, working the road, I was like, well, honey, do you ever worry about it? And she goes, oh, no. <laughs> okay. 
I'm probably overly paranoid about it too. Guys, do you relate to that? You just like assume it's gonna be an issue and it's not. I was on a flight once and the woman next to me offered me her little Biscoff cookie and I was like, oh no ma'am, I'm married. No. <laughs> Get behind me, Jezebel, you home wrecker of the clouds, all right? I... My vows apply at 30,000. I'm not free to move about your cabin. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I don't like a lot? People think that you're like squares a lot when you've been married for a long time. Like, oh, you lose all the romance, you know, the spark, it isn't there. And I, you know, I understand, I understand that there are some younger folk in the room, but I will tell you this in the cleanest way that I can, all right? All right? There are no bigger freaks on the planet than parents with kids when they get away from their kids. <laughs> Me and my wife had our 17th anniversary two months ago. We got to that hotel room, we shut those curtains, we got in that bed, dude, we slept so hard. It was crazy. Oh, so many different positions all night long. I, <laughs> I actually slept, woke up, slept again. I haven't slept twice in one night since. Already got paid. Uh... <laughs> Things are changed. Discipline's changed. And discipline will divide a crowd, like the topic of spanking. That'll divide a crowd, right? Because some of you are spanked, the rest of you are entitled. That'll divvy up a room. That'll, that'll divvy up a room. <laughs> All right. Don't be too enthusiastic about it. You guys are like, I'll spank any kid right now, right now. He's being good. He'll be bad later. He'll be bad later. This is a down payment spanking, is what it is. <laughs> I don't care if you spank, but this is one thing that drives me crazy. And it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's said in churches a lot. It might have been said on this stage. Hey, we discipline, but we never discipline in anger. <laughs> what? What are you, discipline in apathy? What are you talking about? No, we don't hit our kids when we're mad. Are you crazy? That's why you hit a kid, because you're mad. <laughs> and you know what? That's the right emotion to match the action. You want to really ruin a child? Spank them with a smile on your face. Do that. <laughs> it hurts me more than it hurts you. Doesn't look like it. <laughs>